Okay, it is October 6th of 2023, and about 10 hours ago, I saw something in my top news feed that, you know, caught my eye. I thought I recognized the guy that was uh, in the thumbnail, and turns out when I looked at it, it was someone I recognized. Not in, in my life, but as a case I've studied. Well, the man we were talking about today was Frank James, who shot 10 people. Five who were hurt very badly, you know, in the New York City subway shooting in 2022. Happened around April, I believe. Mid-April you know, of last year, I remember seeing it all over the news. But he was uh, formally sentenced federally, like federal, because he got federal terrorism charges. And he was sentenced to 10 life sentences which run concurrent to 10 years for the gun charge that he also picked up. And I'm pretty sure the life sentences are consecutive, but even if they aren't, he'll never get out because that's without parole. He got 10 life sentences for each of the victims he shot. And each one of those charges, I believe, were uh, acts of terrorism causing injury on public transit, something along those lines. There's a bunch of different charges <laughs> that he picked up. But those are like the main things that he was sentenced for. And I just wanted to say as of October 5th of 2023, about a year, about almost a year and a half since his little attack. We're almost to the exact day. Next week was going to be a year and a half since he's a... Uh, since he did this act. And. Yeah he will spend the rest. I mean he was already 62 years old. And his. um His lawyers were arguing for an 18 year prison sentence. Because of his mental health. I like how everybody plays crazy in the courts. It's kind of amusing to watch. That they. They. When they think they're in charge for a few minutes with their gun. And then they act all crazy. You know, it's it's kind of amusing. And it did not work this time. Um, unlike the Nicholas Cruz case, when it did work, it just didn't work out for him this time. And he will spend the rest of his life in prison. I believe he's 64 years old now. So even if he got 18, 18 years, he's going to be in his 80s when he gets out. He would be at least 80 years old when he gets out. If he gave him time credit for time served, he'd be already like 79, 80 years old, possibly 81 when he gets out. So it'd be a possible terminal sentence anyway, if he got 18 years from what his lawyers wanted him to get compared to what the federal system when the judges wanted him to get. Well, it turns out the judge won and he got 10 life sentences plus 10 years for guns, for or the gun charge. And, yeah, rest in piss. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this little video. Just wanted to bring y'all some a notification that this guy will never get out of prison. And, yep, goodbye Frank James. Love y'all. Peace, peace. Please stay safe out there. Stay safe on your, on your public transits. Stay safe. Anyway, be peace. Bye-bye. Love y'all. Thank you for watching. Peace out.